Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in this video, we are talking about notes. Notes are the most important aspect in the life of students as well as the teachers as well. So in this video, I'll walk you through why notes are important and what are the things that you can totally ignore about our society and the kind of a things which are going on right now in colleges. So let's get started. So before we go ahead and start talking about these notes, first and foremost, go into the description section, download the game that we have recently rolled out. It's a completely ad-free game. We are learning a lot. The entire Learn Code Online team is learning a lot about game development nowadays. And this is another product which is so much better than our previous versions. It's amazing game. So go ahead, download that and show some love in the reviews so that our developers can get some of the encouragement and can make better games for all of you. So go ahead, download that and show some love to us. Now, coming back onto the point of notes. Notes are really important for whatever you are learning. Now, I consider notes as the most important aspect and the most important part of learning anything. Now, I totally agree that your learning resources can be completely different. Some might be learning from X website, some might be learning from Y website, some are learning from books or offline institution. That's all totally fine. As long as you're learning, that's totally fine. Now, coming on to the point why notes are important, because I have realized that nowadays in like few years, a lot of students kind of avoid of taking the notes and I think it's completely a bad habit. You should never ever do that. Taking notes should be the topmost priority. What a lot of students, even teachers, don't realize that this mind right here is a very juggler. It's a very fast traveler. The more you can travel, it can travel really, really fast. While taking, while reading from a website or from a YouTube video or from any, any given place, it can travel on the places where you have never imagined. At one place, it can be in the Paris, uh, sipping up a nice red wine. The next moment, it can be playing a PUBG game, which a lot of you might be loving up. Uh, then might be traveling on a boat and coming back right onto the street and listening what the teachers are saying. So yes, it can be really fragile uh, thing what you are having inside here. Uh, it can just go wanders here and there pretty quickly and it's so hard to stop this brain. And what the note actually does is stop this brain from wandering here and there and gives the focus totally on what you are learning. And that's why notes are so important. Now, it's not about writing each and everything what the teacher is saying or what the video is trying you to do. It's about keeping your focus on the pen and trying to write some of the words uh, that, are, that seems to be important. It's not about writing the entire line. Even if you just write the some words, that means you're keeping your focus on exactly what you're trying to learn. And this is a good habit of learning, regardless whatever you are learning. Taking an example of me, I love to take notes. Uh, right from the college time, from masters and all these uh, courses that I have done, I always love to take notes. Whenever I join up a new course or read up a new book, I take notes all the time. Even when I make these videos, I always first sit down, take notes, what I need to talk about in this video, precise them, consider that uh, this should be the talk one, this should be the topic two and three after that, so that my talk can be very precise and I can put up the information that really I want to put up in a video. For example, I have this, uh, this notes up here. Uh, this was for something which I'm doing right now related to some course. Uh, I, I take these big notes up here, always in front of me. And after that, I also keeps an iPad uh, through which I can uh, some of the digitized note that I keep all the time with me. And this is a habit that I have. Whenever I make a video or even a series or tutorial, I just like to do all the things in advance and keep them in the notes so that I can refer those notes back and forth again and then can talk to the students what exactly I want to talk. This makes my tutorial very precise. Uh, the chances of making mistakes are pretty low. And even if I make some mistakes, I always have those notes so that I can refer them again. Now, while visiting recently to a variety of students, a uh, variety of universities, I, I talked with a lot of students. And uh, while interacting, uh, one of the things that I realized that not a lot of people and students try, uh, likes to take notes. And that's a wrong habit. You should not incorporate that habit. Taking notes is a good thing. I know a lot of people are going to make a mockery of you that, hey, can't you remember this stuff? Why are you writing down everything? Why are you taking notes? But remember, in our society, there is definitely a lot of things going on wrong and that is one of them. In our society and students, as far as I have been going into the universities, I have realized that uh, people who like to study, who like to make apps, who like to learn machine learning or anything like that are considered as nerds and are looked down upon them. While other person who is just hanging around in the leather jackets and having a beer bottle in the hand is somehow considered as cool. I don't know what's going wrong with the society right now. I'm no lecturer on that. But leaving all those aside, 
uh, just try to imagine and think with your own brain. Taking notes is a good thing. So I highly recommend each and every single one of you that keep a pen and paper always ready or sticky notes or something and take notes. And also recently I came to know and really happy to announce this that a lot of teachers are also following my videos and tutorials. Some of them prepare through my video tutorials and teach them in the class uh, whatever I'm saying or teaching in that particular subject or anything. And I'm so happy with this that you are getting one more resource to learn and you are sharing the knowledge with that. I'm totally happy with that. Now I also talked with one of the such teacher and he said that when I um, bring notes of all the lectures that I want to talk in this class. Uh, students sometimes make fun of me that why are you bringing up notes? You are a teacher, you should know everything. Now let me let me convey this thing uh, through my platform that no, uh, teachers are just like you and me. Uh, they don't know each and everything. They research, they try to understand these things and then try to simplify them. So uh, what I can say to all teacher is bring your own notes. Regardless of who makes your fun or not, just bring up your notes, be absolutely proud on these notes. Because I, I came up from an era where uh, finding these teachers' notes were like absolute crazy and very precious things. So bring that era back and work hard on your notes, prepare the notes as wisely as you can and as precisely as you can and bring them up in the class. There is no such hesitation. There should be no such hesitation in bringing up those notes. These are all your hard work. So bring them up and always be proud on your notes. Let's just be honest with, honest with ourselves. You know exactly that while watching a video, I know you are watching uh, probably a very interesting tutorial on Android or iOS or machine learning. While, while watching that video just lying in your bed or comfortable couch is, is not gonna be very fruitful. You're gonna just clean it off by the morning. You, you'll be wake up in the morning, it's, it will be all gone. So better, whenever you're watching any video or anything, just make a copy or make a notebook and just write all the notes there so that it can be in your memory for a longer period of time. Don't waste your time just watching the videos again and again. Instead, watch it once, take notes so that you can remember that at a, at a better uh, period of time and that's actually a good habit. So regardless what the people say is about notes, take notes, it's a very good habit and just leave off the society. They are always gonna be losers. Don't listen to them. Take notes, that's a good habit. Yeah, I said it. Uh, don't listen to losers and take notes. I know a lot of people are gonna be offended by that. But to be honest, who cares about that? Society is going on to a very different direction. Don't worry about them. I, I even don't bother about them. The point is, taking notes is a good habit, both for teachers and both for students, and stuck with it. One more time, please check out the description section here. We have launched an amazing game. I think we deserve some of your love a little bit more. So go ahead, download that, show some love on the reviews and ratings as well, so that we can make more such awesome game for you. That's it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Make sure you share this video so that all those people who make the mockery of taking the notes get also to know that yes, taking notes is a good habit. Amplify this video with your sharing. And also make sure you post down in the comment section that are you a note taker or not? So that's it for this video. Hit that subscribe and we're gonna surely catch up in the next video.